Dora and her brother Kyle spent one hour and 35 minutes doing yard work. Then they stopped for lunch at 1.20 p.m. At what time did they start doing yard work? Use the graphic organizer to help you solve the problem. So you have to think to yourself, what do I need to find out? Go back and look at your question and decide what do we need to find out? Underline it. Okay, what did we underline? We need to find the time that Dora and Kyle started doing yard work. What information do I need to use? I need to use the time they spent and the time that they finished. And how will I use this information? I can draw a timeline to help me count backwards and find the total time I'm sorry, the time they started. Okay. So here's my here's my number line down here. I'll draw a number line. They ended at 120, and I'm just going to work my way back a little bit and see what happens. So I'm starting at 120. I know that they worked 1 hour and 35 minutes. So I'm going to jump back 1 hour first. 120 minus 1 hour is going to be 1220. Okay, and my number line is done by increments of five. How do I know that? Okay, I know because if I go 12 to 12.30, I can, I can guess. Okay, maybe they're counting by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, yeah, that works. Also, it tells me up here I'm bouncing back by five minutes. Okay, so now I'm at 12.20, and I'm gonna count back by five minutes and 10 minutes and 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, which would give me a start time of 11.45. So Dora and her brother Kyle started doing work at 11.45. What if Dora and Kyle spent 50 minutes doing yard work and they stopped for lunch at 12.30? What time would they have started doing yard work? Okay, I can use a number line. I can use the number line up here to do it, or I can think back 50 minutes from 12:30. And in my head, what I would do is I would say 12:30 minus 30 minutes is 12 o'clock. And do I have 50 minutes back yet? No. So I'm going to do how much more? probably 20 minutes. So I'm going to go 50 minus 20. So I need to do 20 more minutes back. Oops, that's a 12. 20 more minutes back and 12 o'clock minus 20 minutes. I can look at the clock. I can think about it. An hour minus 20 minutes is 40 minutes. So 1140. Ben started riding his bike at 10.05 a.m. He stopped 23 minutes later when his friend Robbie asked him to play kickball. At what time did he stop riding his bike? What do we need to find out? Okay, you should have underlined at what time did he stop riding his bike? When did Ben stop riding his bike? What information am I gonna to need to use? Well, he started at what time? Okay, 10, 10 and he stopped 25 minutes later, stopped 23 minutes, not 25. And how are we going to use this information? This time we're going to be counting forward, starting at 10.05 and then going 23 minutes later. 20, we did 25 again. So I'm going to start at 10.05 on my number line. And here's 10, 15, so I can tell why would I need the number line to be now by one minute increments instead of five minute increments? Okay, because we're talking about a 23 up here. 23 minutes cannot be in five minute increments. So because we have 23 in 23, we have to do an in increments of one. So we're starting at 10.05. I'm going to go 23 minutes. And I see that this is 5, 10, 15. These are marked at five minutes here. So I'm going to say... 5, 10, 15, 20, 
21, 22, 23. And that puts me at 10, 21, 2, 3. Nope, 10, 28. <laughs> puts me at 10, 28. Okay. How does our diagram help us solve the problem? Go ahead and answer that on your own. Evelyn has dance class every Saturday. It lasts one hour and 15 minutes and is over at 1045. At what time does her class begin? First, what problem do we need to solve? Okay, we, and this is basically the problem we need to solve. What time does her class begin? Next, we're gonna draw the number line. It is over at 45, so I'm gonna double check. I think these might, be, might go by fives, let's see. 12, 05, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 50, 60, so I was right, they count, they go by fives. So I'm gonna find my 12, 45, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So here's 45 here. And I'm going to go back one hour. So if I go back one hour, I know 12.45 minus an hour is going to be um, 11.45. And I'm going this way. There's 11.45. So this is one hour in 15 minutes. So now I'm gonna continue 5, 10, 15. And this is where we are. So that's 11, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 11, 30 is our time there, when her class starts. So Evelyn's class begins at 11, 30. We might as well put the AM. It ended at PM, it tells us up here, but when we pass the noon, it now becomes a.m. It even says it over here, a.m. What if her dance class started at 11 and lasted an hour and 25 minutes? At what time would her class end? Describe how the problem is different than number one. So this is a different. This is giving us two. There's actually two differences. I want you guys to think about what way are they different. Beth got on the bus at 8.06 a.m. 35 minutes later, she arrived at school. What time did she arrive at school? So she starts at 8.06. 35 minutes later, am I going to be adding those minutes or subtracting those minutes? Okay, we're going to add those minutes. So 35 minutes on to 8.06. So I know 8.06 plus 30 minutes would be 8.06. 36 and now I have to put the extra five minutes so 36 plus 5 is 41 so it's 8 41 Lyle went fishing for one hour and 30 minutes until he ran out of bait at 640 at what time did he start so he's ending at 640 I need to find out when he starts am I going to work forward or backward Okay, we're going to start at 6.40, and we're going to go backwards one hour. So minus one hour will get us to 5.40. And now I'm going to minus another 30 minutes. So 5.40 minus 30 minutes will give us 